Oh, there we go. Oh. Quick and easy today. Um, out in the woods, local spot after work. I'm just gonna see if I can turn up a spotted salamander. I haven't seen them in a while. And there's a foundation here that uh, can produce some milk snakes, some really neat milk snakes. We're kind of on the fall line here between um, where Piedmont falls off into Coastal Plain. And the milks here have been, over the years, there, there's not many of them, but over the years, they've looked pretty interesting. So let's see how we can do. Check this out. There's like a hidden gem here that if you didn't know it was here, you probably wouldn't find it. And even though it's chilly out, hoping to find one milk here that makes the trip worth it. Now this sucks. It's a sun shower now. Goodbye, my friend. Gotta find a hole. So I have like maybe a 10 minute walk towards an area of the park that has vernal pools, which are seasonal pools that fill up over the winter, starting in the fall. And usually around them, this time of year, I can flip spotted salamanders. So that's target number two. So let's see how we do. We're not there yet. This is just a log. Uh, I just flipped and saw a two-line salamander. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Hey, hey. Alright, he's right there. Stop. Two-line salamander. This is a creek salamander. We got a creek right there. So he's hanging out up here. Eurisia bislianata. So we have some trail side logs they have here that usually won't turn up a spotted because they're not rotten, but we're getting close to the Burnley area, so. Let's, something's moving here, hold on. There's no spot as, oh man, we're gonna have a very dirty ring, or I'm sorry, redback salamander. That's a little Eastern redback. The spotted we find are gonna be 40 times the size of this guy, maybe more. You'll see what I mean, hopefully. What the hell? This isn't too bad. All right. Gonna be honest, I'm having a hard time finding one. You can see the vernal behind me and some buried logs. You're gonna hear traffic because as is too often the case, there are roads right next to habitat. I'm really having a hard time, so maybe some of these logs buried, like, uh, right there, in the mud, that might have them. We'll see. Okay, so down there is the vernal, and I think we have a vernal obligate. We just hopped in front of me right here. This is a wood frog. So when I say vernal obligate, that means that they need vernal pools to breed. 
they won't use any permanent sources of water. So here's another look at this wood frog. This is lithobates or lithobates sylvaticus. You can see they have strong dorsolateral ridges. Those are the lines going down its back. And an eye mask. And these are the true frogs, which means that they can jump pretty good. So, and I'm not hurting her. She has some, looks like maybe some eggs in her that are unfertilized. So, so I'm not squeezing her. I got a really loose grip on her legs, as you can see. That's just the way her body looks. So, see, she's fine, so watch. So they're strong hoppers. Just hopped about four feet away from me. And back to do its froggy things. <laughs> I have been defeated, so I don't know. I would like to try and say it's maybe too dry. It hasn't rained in a few days, but I probably saw 200 redback salamanders. So I don't think that's the case. I am actually gonna flip just, I'm getting desperate. I'm gonna flip that stuff. But if I don't find one today, then I'm gonna have to come back out here maybe the day after a pretty strong rain and try and redeem myself. And we'll mash this all into one video. Walking into a local reserve gonna try and end this spotted salamander drought i have not seen a single one all fall so here we go once again getting desperate here turning the small stuff it's all pretty wet you can find them in this rotting stuff sometimes though Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Finally, spotted salamander, Ambistoma maculatum. I had to think for a second there, it's been so long. Damn. Nice, bright yellow spots on this guy. So these guys are up and about with the rain right now in the fall, but they've been pretty hard to find for me this year. Um, in the spring, it's a different story. They're coming out after being in the ground for the year or for the winter and they're looking to mate and they just, they march to the vernal pools by the thousands. So it's, the spring is incredible. You can find so many of them. I'll show you their habitat in a second. And this is where they come to breed in the spring. It's a nice vernal pool meaning that it's seasonal and that it will dry up or at least dry up enough years that it does not support a fish population. And spotted salamanders are what we call vernal obligates. They need vernal poles to breed. They won't breed in permanent water. This is so nice. You can even hear peepers in the background. It feels like spring out here. So nice looking. I really do take these guys for granted. Time for the release of this guy. Probably the last one I'll see until March. It's Thanksgiving now, so I got a few months of winter birding. So I'll let him crawl on his way. Go ahead. Get in there, buddy. And it's wet enough that he'll figure it out. I usually try and 
steal some stuff in now. Hey. All right, that didn't work. Hold on. <laughs> so you know what's funny is I just broke one of my own rules. I always tell people not to move herps into more um, likely places for them because the herps know what they're doing. So I made a mistake and tried to put him on a, under a better log. So this time I'm gonna return him right to the rotten piece of crap log he was using. <laughs> so I started this video probably a month and a half ago and I just had a hell of a time finding a spotted. But finally, 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 persistence paid off after a thousand and one redbacks. Um, so winter is upon us. You're gonna be seeing a lot of bird videos from me, at least what I can figure out on how to make videos. So if you're a herper, just stick with me. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll catch the, catch the itch for birds. But if not, stick with me till the spring and I'll, uh, I'll try to put out some facts videos over the winter. Um, so I appreciate it. Remember to comment, subscribe, like the video. That really helps me grow. I'm starting to get a little bit of traction now. So I really appreciate it, everybody. This is Bob Ferguson with Fast Nature reminding you to step into the outdoors. Have a good Thanksgiving, everyone.